Question is, how do I sell an inherited house? Well, if you've recently inherited a house or any type of property, that probably comes with a lot of mixed emotions. Losing someone that you loved or someone that was close to you is never easy, but if they left you a property, that can be one positive in what is otherwise a tragic situation. In this video, we're gonna go over some of the key things you can be thinking about as you move towards selling that inherited property. But for me to you, one thing I wanna give you permission to do is just to simply mourn. So selling this inherited property is not something that needs to happen immediately. If you have the ability to wait even just a few months to let your emotions run their course, then engage in the sale of a property. That's something that you might wanna think about doing. As we get into the nuts and bolts of what it's like to inherit a property and then also sell that inherited property, we need to understand how did you ultimately inherit the property? There are a few ways that, that can go about. One would be a beneficiary deed, which is sort of the cleanest, simplest way that you can inherit a property and it doesn't need any court intervention or oversight. Next would be a living trust, which is a vehicle that was set up prior to the individual passing away. And then lastly would be through the probate process. The probate process is kind of the most complicated process you can go through on an inherited property, and you need court oversight and permission in order to engage with the sale of the property. The next thing to think about would be who else might have inherited this property, and are there any disagreements or pieces of communication that need to take place with the other heirs of the estate. If there are other rightful heirs to this inherited house, you're gonna to need to make sure that everybody is on the same page, you talk through and communicate as best as possible, and if there's a will or other document that was in place from the individual that passed away, you need to honor what is in that will or in that document. One of the best courses of action is to gather all of the heirs of the property together, have a group discussion about how you'd like things to play out, establish or understand who is the executor for the estate because it's possible that even though all of you inherited the property there may be another person calling the shots in that group discussion things you may want to discuss what type of sale would you like to engage with what price would you like to get for the property what professionals should you be working with and ultimately how are you going to fund the sale and how are you going to divide up the cost and the net proceeds of that sale of course it should be said that if there is a will in place a document overseeing all of this then a lot of these details can be in place with that will of how this sale should be taking place. Next, you need to decide what professional you will be working with to help facilitate this transaction. Typically, you're gonna be working with a real estate agent. You will need to work with a real estate agent in the actual state of that property. Otherwise, that person won't be licensed to do business. So if you inherited a property in Washington State, you live in Florida, you'll need to find a real estate professional in Washington State who will be licensed to help you with that transaction. I highly recommend working with a real estate agent who is competent in the areas of inheritance and probate, because if they don't know some of the nuances, they can make things messier for you than they need to be. Next, if you're taking several months to go through the process of selling, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that any debt on the property, any insurance policies on the property are continually paid. On the plus side, you inherited the asset of this property, but you've also inherited any underlying debts associated with the property. And of course, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the property is kept up in good condition, that we have an insurance policy in place in case of any damage while you're not there. And otherwise, treat this like a property that you've owned for a long time and are continuing to take care of. Lastly, if you've inherited a property, one thing I highly recommend is consulting with a tax professional about any tax implications that you may incur as a result of inheriting this property. There are things like estate taxes and inheritance taxes, and they can vary state to state. And depending on how you file as an individual, you may be impacted differently. So I highly recommend hiring a CPA or a tax professional to look at your individual case and tell you what you may be on the hook for because you've inherited this property. In conclusion, inheriting a property can be both a blessing and come with a lot of mixed emotions and complications. If you're looking to sell your inherited property quickly, please reach out to us at soldsimpleseattle.com. We would love to talk with you about some of the details of your specific situation and see if making an offer on your inherited property makes the most sense for you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next video.